Well, our objective at this time is to simplify these logarithmic expressions, and we'll do that in each case using the definition of a logarithm, and that is y equals log to the base b of x, if and only if b to the y equals x. So y is the exponent, b is the base, x is the result. So we'll set log to the base 5 of 25 equal to y. And I must stress, if you say this right, log to the base 5 of 25 equals y, say it right you'll think it right, and your probability of doing it right improves. So this implies that, rewriting this in terms of exponential form, we have 5 to the y, that's the exponent equals, the result is 25. Now, 25 can be written in terms of base 5 and 25 is 5 squared. So the only way this is possible is if y equals 2. But y also equals log to the base 5 of 25. So log to the base 5 of 25 then equals 2. And simplified. For number 2, we have log to the base one-third of 9, and we'll set that equal to y. So rewriting this in exponential form, we have the base of one-third raised to the y power equals 9. Now I can rewrite that as 3 to the negative 1, since I moved it into the uh, numerator position, all of that raised to the y power equals 9 is the same as 3 squared, or 3 to the negative 1 times y is negative y equals 3 squared. The only way that is possible is if negative y equals 2, or y equals negative 2, so consequently we know that since y equals log to the base of one-third, log to the base one-third of 9, then log to the base one-third of 9 must equal and negative 2. And we've simplified another one. Now this time we're simplifying log to the base 5 of the cube root of 25, and we'll claim that equals y. So uh, we have, uh, rewriting this in exponential form, we have uh, uh, 5 to the y power equals the cube root of 25. Well, we, uh, we can rewrite that in a more friendly form, and that's going to be 25 is the same as 5 squared, and that's all raised to the one-third power. Uh, anything raised to the one-third power is, uh, corresponds to the cube root of that thing. And so now we have 5y, or 5 to the y power equals, and by the law of exponents, we find the product of 2 and 1 third, and we have 5 to the 2 thirds. So clearly, uh, the only way this is possible is if y equals 2 thirds. So since y equals log to the base 5 of the cube root of 25, then this expression must equal 2 thirds. 
and we've simplified another one. One more to go. For our final expression, we have the natural log of the square root of v, and we'll set that equal to y. And to clarify, um, ln of x equals log to the base e of x. So this is called the natural log, and it's implied that the base is e. So let's uh, rewrite this in terms of exponential form. And so this implies that the base is e, the exponent's y, the result is the square root of e. And uh, so e to the y equals, we can remove the radical as long as we install the exponent of 1 half because the implication is that e to the one-half power equals the square root of e. Um, now, equating exponents, since the bases are identical, we have y equals one-half. But y also equals ln of the square root of e. So ln of the square root of e equals y, which is one-half, and we've simplified our final expression, and we are done.